Hello Floss Tube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I'm going to show you what I have stitched during summer. Yes, I decided to show you because I have stitched, uh, I have some uh, FFOs or FOs <laughs> finished uh, uh, like projects and um, as well I had a video with, with, where I showed everything I stitched during my uh, stitching uh, winter and uh, stitching spring. I will leave in the info box the links to those two videos. That's why I decided that it would be nice to have such a video with the summer finishes or at least what I have stitched this summer. Um, I know it's a little bit late, maybe it would have been ideal, more ideal to uh, have this video like earlier in September, but the thing is that I didn't have um, the um, time and the possibility to film this one. Um, I probably already said that my little one, the son, <laughs> he went to school and it's his like first year, my first experience. And of course I had to prepare some things, I had to inform myself. Okay, so uh, what I have stitched this summer. First of all, um, I, I was thinking how would I um, um, present them to you and then I decided that not chronologically because even I don't remember exactly how I stitched them chronologically but I'm going to present them more or less by brands and I will start with Just Nan because again I have most of the works finished works are by Just Nan so uh, the first one I wanted to show you is this beautiful um, sampler. It's a little one and it's not stitched according to the original chart and embellishment pack because I didn't have those ones. Because again, the chart and the embellishment pack, like this design is out of production and it's hard to find. And if it pops out, usually it pops out for a great amount of money, I would say. In this case, I could stitch it from scratch because it doesn't require so many embellishments. It's just this uh, butterfly, which I bought from Susan Clark's original. And um, you know, the thing about uh, this one is the fact that it's um, finished uh, like in a bell pull, which is used with the uh, Just Nan um, bell pull, this one. And I bought it and I decided that yes, I'm going to have it like this. That's why for me it was very important to have the finishing, you know, like this and the this ones, you see, I, this ones I bought, I didn't do by myself. First I said that yes, I'm going to make them, but I'm not good at uh, uh, tassels, <laughs> not good at all. So um, I like this, this design and I like even more the finishing. So the moment I finished it, like everything was done, it was on the wall and it's there until now when I took it and I'm going to film and probably I'm going to put there uh, already something with fall theme. So this would be like uh, the first um, um, how does it, finished project from Jasmine which I wanted to show you. Then I wanted to show you the um, pl Sugar Plum Violet stocking. Uh, this is my third stocking, which I have stitched, and I'm glad that I managed to stitch it this summer, because even from winter, I was thinking that I will try to stitch this one during the summer, because this one is all flowers, and uh, it doesn't resemble so much Christmas, except the fact that it's a stocking, you know, and uh, just... Uh, managed to stitch it which makes me very glad because this winter i would like to stitch one more and this would be the fourth and finally i would like to have six something like this i'm saying about this i think in every video when it's about uh, just nan stockings so this one beautiful um i would say that i stitched this one uh slower than the others because um it has a lot of little details, for example, this one, you know, like this one, this one. All these flowers have like two, three colors, two, three stitches. You have to use another color. Then here it, there is like cushion stitch, then there is back stitch, and then there are like beads. Um, and here I remember I had to be very careful. So the um, motive, it's not difficult, but if you are not going in, like into the right uh, uh, hole, <laughs> the leaf uh, loses its... Um, uh, how does it, symmetry and it's a scene 
it's 28 of count and this this thing you can be seen so actually i would say that this part this part like this parts which are cross stitches they, they are stitched very quickly even this part it's stitched very quickly here it took me a lot of time here it was a lot, lot of time even though it's not a lot of stitches but a lot of colors you have to change you like uh, frequently and this takes time it's not dif difficult it just takes time and uh, i'm also saying when speaking about this uh, stockings in my videos that alongside with the uh, stockings i am stitching um, and making the pin cushions which they have this one should go like this yes so this time i also made the pin cushion which uh, the chart goes into the, the same chart of the uh, uh, stocking and i'm already i'm also making it and i'm making the backs back side also from linen and i'm making this frame so the frame which is here in front i'm just repeating one more time here so that i wouldn't use like um blank or linen which doesn't have anything at least this is the thing i did with the others as well so the set is uh, is done also from just Nan, if we are speaking about pin cushions this summer was rich in pin cushions from just Nan because i have two more so this is not the only one i have such a pin cushion with a baroque butterfly uh, this one is out of production and uh, i see it very rarely because i saw it like once or twice except the fact when i bought <laughs> the the chart because i stitched according to the original chart I decided to make from it a pin cushion. So again, the uh, I like the backside to stitch a frame and to make it with linen. I don't know why, but it's it's a thing I like. So this would be the uh, Baroque butterfly uh, charm. This one goes into the first stitches or last stitches. Don't remember exactly which one, but I know I remember that it goes with one of them. And I said when I made this one that I would like here some. Uh, hand dyed uh, ribbon you know and make it like um, the style um, uh, shepherd's bush uses to to make uh, the pin cushions with the ribbon so still i am sticking to that idea and i will buy some ribbon sometime <laughs> and the um, second pin cushion i have this is um, butterfly lace it's called the uh, design uh, also, it's a design out of production. I have the original chart. This one you can see, like this one is sold, not like very often, but still you can find it. And it has such a butterfly bead here. Uh, the thing is that um, in the key they recommend uh, white uh, or antique white, um, white casual linen, but I thought that uh, this lace here, which is butterflies actually, uh, won't be seen and i chose um, um kind of uh, sky blue i would say uh, um, it's even with this one is even with and i i like it but again i think that uh, this one also so i made this butterfly uh, how they say frame here i repeated but again i think that uh, this one also needs some uh, ribbon here and i had ribbon here because it would look nicer so for me this true are nice but they look unfinished you know they, they, they ask for something so a little touch and they will be finished that's why uh, i will buy uh, some hand dyed uh, or hand dyed i think like silk ribbon and i will finish them for sure and the last uh, design by Just Nan, which I have uh, stitched, finished stitching this summer, because it's correctly to say uh, finished stitching this summer, is uh, Four Wishes. Uh, this is a design which I started in January this year, and I uh, was uh, stitching each uh, season, um, like during its actual season, meaning like I stitched winter in winter, spring in spring, summer in summer, but uh, I would say that autumn, it was stitched in the last two days of uh, summer. Um, so in the, like in the end of summer, it was like 30th, I think, you know, like August, it's 30th and 31st. I just had time and I wanted to stitch this one. I just was in, in the mood of stitching this, this design. I wasn't waiting like until the starting of September so that I would stitch it actually when the autumn is. And uh, this uh, part, watching part, it proved to be not very complicated and I finished it like in two days. I stitched just this one, finished in two days. So that like I would say that this is a finish, this is a finished uh, design of um, summer, even though in my plans it was like it would be a finished design of autumn. 
uh, I spoke about each part when stitching it like in every season I was presenting it and I was saying how it works, how it worked, what was difficult. Per total, I would say that this is a um, complicated work, which takes time. There are a lot of many little details. So that if you would like to start it from the very beginning until the end, just this work, you would get tired and you would get, how they say, um, you will stitch it slower, I, I would say. But if you are going to divide it into seasons, uh, it will be fresh for you and you'll stitch it quicker, for sure. So I would say that this for sure. Uh, this is my second design, which I stitched kind of seasonally. Uh, last year I did it with Harmony by Just Then. I liked the thing, the idea, and this year it was this one. Um, it would be wrong to say that these are uh, works which take a year, because you see I started in January and I finished it like in the last two days of August. So that it's a seasonal uh, design, but um, I wouldn't say that it takes uh, all year uh, like uh, round to stitch it because now I'm even thinking about starting uh, the next series and uh, I'm thinking starting it with uh, autumn so that it's like next uh, year next year beginning of summer more or less I should have the next uh, series finished. I like very much this idea of stitching uh, seasonal works and uh, I have them in my stash, meaning like at least from just then I have them. So as long as I have them and as long as I like this idea, probably I will continue this tradition of mine, like stitching uh, one work which has all the four seasons, or stitching like a series, um, which uh, a range, which comes with all the seasons. And this would be like the last uh, design from just then, which I stitched uh, this summer. And the next work which I wanted to show you, these are the uh, uh, dragonflies, these are the insects, I would say the range of insects by Nora Corbett. So I have stitched two dragonflies, I have the bumblebee and I have a butterfly. Okay, so um, I said in my previous videos that uh, I like this, uh, how would I say, uh, insect collection by Nora Corbett. I knew that sometimes I would uh, stitch them. And uh, when I decided that this time came, um, I um, was looking for, I started by looking for the charts for this, uh, um, for this uh, um, dragonflies. And I just realized that they are out of production. <laughs> Thank God I found the um, the charts. So finding the charts, I just um, was able to get all the materials together, and I managed to stitch two of the uh, dragonflies. Even though uh, I had like uh, in my plans to stitch this summer three of them, uh, all of them, the three of them. But I have just two. Hopefully next year uh, I will um, I will stitch the the rest of them. Why next year? Because, you know, like when it's fall, I like stitching fall designs. Uh, when it's uh, like winter, I will be eager to stitch uh, Christmas designs, winter designs. That's why I'm saying I'm more, I said it hundreds of times, that I'm more of, um, uh, how do you say, seasonal uh, stitcher. Okay, so uh, the first one which I wanted to show you, this is the uh, silver dragonfly. This is the first I stitched and I was like amazed by how beautiful they are. And you know when the stitchers say that uh, the stitchers who used to stitch uh, Nora Corbett and um, Mirabile design, they used to say that uh, uh, cameras usually don't show the beauty of these designs in like the real beauty of these designs and I would agree with this. So, so it doesn't matter what light you are catching, how you are catching it, uh, you cannot show the real beauty of this design. So if you like a design and like you, I think you should stitch it because you won't regret. They look even more beautiful uh, in real life than uh, on uh, videos, than in videos. Okay, so this is the first one I stitched. Then it came the emerald dragonfly, which I would say I liked even more and I still like even more. It's because I like the colors which are here. I am more of sticked on this green colors. I wouldn't say details about the size, about the materials I use, because I have videos where I spoke about all these details, so I don't think it has any sense of like repeating myself here. And so this is the emerald dragonfly. Then, like according to my plans, it should have uh, like 
the following one it should have been the australian dragonfly but um i was already tired of dragonflies i would say and i decided to have a rest and uh, stitch the bumblebee this is a freebie like it's a free pop pattern on mirabilia official site even now you can download it from there and um i decided to stitch this one and I stitched it like during one and a half day, if I'm not wrong. And this this one is very beautiful. It's tiny, but it's super beautiful. I like it greatly and enormously. Even though his his <laughs> wings uh, are stitched with cranic, and uh, I don't mind stitching with cranic. Like the only thing is that not all the colors, if you noticed, not all the colors of cranic have the same structure. Some of them are better. Some of them are. How to say they go into different sizes sides i don't know so this one and then like having uh, all the uh, materials uh, in the organizer after the bumblebee so this piece of fabric was already prepared for the uh, this butterfly and this butterfly is also a freebie a free pattern and uh, i decided why not stitching it if i have the um, um Fabric already prepared. Uh, the materials are in the um, how to say in the organizer. I mean, like the beads, because uh, here it's just one uh, DMC floss shade, and the rest are Cranix. So I stitched this one as well. Um, I didn't change anything because initially I was thinking about making maybe a conversion to this butterfly, but um, when I started stitching it, I just realized that they go very well together. They, I mean, like they have almost the same. Um, how they say colors so i decided not changing anything i decided to leave it like it is so that they would go in pair and they are more or less the same size the butterfly is a little bit um, bigger than the bumblebee so why not and that's it so this would be the uh insects from uh, Nora Corbett and as I said hopefully next year, year I will continue stitching them because I have the Australian dragonfly and then I have like two charts and each of them has two butterflies so I have one dragonfly and four butterflies so I still have beautiful things to stitch from uh, this uh, range and uh, the next uh, finished um, design which was stitched this summer and this is a this is an unexpected finish i would say because i was sure that i won't stitch this one this summer this is the um, uh, summer band sampler by chatelaine design by martina rosenberg and um so when i started it because i started this summer uh, i planned to stitch this summer uh, the design uh, and uh, I had uh, stitched just the frame I showed in a previous video, it was just the frame stitched. And then I decided that it's going to be a difficult design to stitch and I won't finish it during the summer and maybe I won't stitch it like this summer at all. But uh, then I decided that let me try, let me see how it goes and then I'll say that okay this one is difficult and I'll stitch it like during two summers and not one. And when I started it, I was surprised of how beautiful this one is, how quickly I stitched it and how much I liked stitching it and enjoyed every stitch of it. So that this is an unexpected, um, unexpected finish because it was stitched so quickly and with such a great joy. I have uh, a video where I'm showing all the details. I mean, like I filmed it in detail. I showed, I sp spoke about the um, speciality stitches, uh, how quick they were done. I would say that um, if you used to stitch just nan samplers, meaning like the speciality stitches which are there, uh, and um, you want to try stitching uh, a shut line, you haven't stitched anything, this would be a good design because still it's not very complicated. It has speciality stitches, but not a lot. And still it's not very complicated and it's not too big. You know, if you are afraid to start something bigger as I was, and I am still, because I want to stitch something bigger from Chatelaine, but I, f f I thought first that let me try something smaller to see if I like the style, if I like the, the way it's, it's uh, being stitched. If yes, I'm going to stitch something bigger. So I'm ready for something bigger. I wanted to say that that's it. So uh, that's everything I have stitched this summer and I almost for forgot that uh, this is uh, also a um, finished project of this year so this is a mill hill strawberries this beautiful design 
I remember having this kit in my stash for two years, I think, because I remember for sure that last summer I also wanted to stitch it, but didn't manage. That's why this summer, in the beginning of summer, I said that that's the time I'm going to do it now, because again, I'm going to stitch something else and this one will stay like this. So I stitched it quite quickly, enjoy it greatly. It's not a complicated design and I uh, frame, framed it also in a mill hill frame because I said already that I used to do. Um, it was uh, like here all during all summer because I stitched it in the beginning of June, if I am not wrong. And uh, I had to, I wanted to take it out, but I decided that it will be here until I'm going to film this video. And then a new design will come here, probably a Halloween one. And the last design, which I stitched this summer, I started this summer, I stitched half of it this summer, is uh, Jean Lin, the Apple Orchard. And this is how much I have. And uh, no, this is not stitched during the summer because the last time I showed you the uh, this work, it was stitched until like here and I had this uh, apple tree and that's it. So this is what I have stitched during the summer. This is half, according to the chart, this is half of the, of the design. It's just in the beginning of uh, September I uh, stitched only this uh, this uh, work, so I would say like it took me two weeks to stitch like this apple trees, these branches with apples, and this this part. Uh, the thing is that in the beginning of September I was preparing for school, <laughs> not me, preparing my son for school, so I had to buy the things, I had to be at home because some of the things were bought, many of the things were bought online, so I had to be home to uh, wait for the delivery and uh, like washing everything ironing everything you know like and i didn't want to start a new a new design it would have taken time and i was like thinking about something else and i was like concentrated on this work and when i had time i was just taking this one and stitching and um you know what works for me usually when i'm stitching such a complicated design why complicated because here the color of threads it's 46 if i'm not wrong but the science uh, symbols 69 so uh, when I'm starting like uh, stitching such designs I remember the symbols and usually I stitch faster and I don't make mistakes you know and that's why I like was stitching the, the, the last of the, uh, the in the two last weeks I was stitching this one and that's why I managed to stitch so much because for me it's so much uh, because it's um, uh, I remembered the, the symbols. So if I said that this, um, these trees are complicated to stitch, oh no, no. <laughs> when I, I, I got to these branches and these apples, oh my God. So this one, this one is much more difficult. The thing is that um, these uh, leaves, uh, they are stitched, there are a lot of free uh, quarter stitches, a lot of them. I haven't stitched in my life, probably, so many quarter stitches in a work. Yes, I understand that they are they are logical here because they are making the work so so nice. So it's not like I don't want to make them. I understand they are role here. It's just they take time. And uh, for example, in the leaf, you had like from one color you had a, a, a stitch and a three quarter stitch, and that's it. You had to change to a different color because each leaf can have up to five colors. Each leaf, and there are a lot of leaves here. And when finishing it, uh, there is back stitch. So everything had to be make with, make, made with back stitch. So it's it's crazy, but the work is beautiful, and I want it so much. So this is this was on my wish list for a few years. When I managed to buy it, I received it. So you see that I didn't um, keep it in my stash for a long time, and I decided to stitch it, and I don't regret. It. It's a beautiful one. So actually, what I have left is this um, this part. So everything is stitched here. I don't know if it's going to be easy or, or difficult, I'll tell you in the end. But what I know is that I want to make this one uh, an autumn finish. So finished project, an autumn finished project. So I, if it will take, I don't know, two weeks to like get into the into like this work and finish it, yes, I'll do it and I'll finish it. I'm ready not to stitch so many um, small, uh, autumn designs but i want to finish this one so that i would have it like in my uh, my stitch stash i would say so that's all about this beautiful design that's everything which i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked the stitched uh, um, finished works uh, which i have 
like made during this summer. I hope you inspired yourself maybe for some uh, designs for yourself as well. And see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.